Hi, my name is Vanessa, and in this video, I will be discussing serrated seals for poly and how they compare to standard seals, since we are often asked the differences between the two processes. Here we have a serrated seal with a little jaw and a big jaw. Opened up, you will see small teeth that are designed to firmly bite into the poly strap. Next, we have an open standard seal. Like the serrated seal, the sand inside this seal is designed to grab and dig into poly strapping. However, with use, the sand can wear thin and begin to fall out. Here are what the seals look like once they are properly sealed. Now, let's take a look at their joint efficiency. First, we have our serrated seal. Here, one of our engineers is doing a pull test on the strapping to see how many pounds of tension the seal can hold. The poly strapping itself can pull up to 892 pounds of tension. The joint efficiency of the serrated seal is 664 pounds, which is about 70%. Next, we have the pull test of the sand grid seal. We did a four tests total with new seals, and the one pictured had the best results. The joint efficiency of the sand grid seal is 414 pounds, which is about 46%. Here's the sample we used for the pull test, and as you can see from the residue, the sand and the seal were sliding off the strap. Now to be fair, the serrated seal did slide off a bit, but as you can see, it definitely held on much more firmly to the strap. Overall. Serrated seals are more reliable and cost-effective. Case of a thousand seals and their tools is equivalent to the cost of one single case of sand grid seals. Again, this has been an overview of serrated seals and sand grid seals. Serrated seals and the tools used with them are available at Encore Packaging. For more information, contact your nearest distributor. Thank you.